Hello everyone. <clears throat> I welcome you all for this uh, presentation, which is based on the electrochemical machining process. Uh, it is one of the uh, advanced machining process uh, in which uh, the electrical and the chemical energy used to remove the material from the workpiece surface. Uh, in this uh, this presentation or this uh, chemical machining process, I have divided into two videos. Uh, in the second video, we'll discuss about the material removal rate and the previously asked uh, numerical problems in the gate from the gate examination and engineering services examination. In this video, uh, we are going to discuss about the uh, principle of this uh, advanced, uh, sorry, this electrochemical machining, the reactions uh, that occurs uh, at the workpiece and the means at the canode, anode and the cathode part. Uh, what are the electrolytes, uh, means what are the characteristic of this electrolyte is required? Uh, what are the uh, tools that we are using for the electrochemical machining and uh, what are the parameters uh, that we are uh, using in uh, for this process so these are the things that we are going to discuss in this video okay uh, so let's start uh, so uh, ecm ecm is a process uh, which is uh, based on the electrolysis or electrolysis principle or a faraday's uh, law so uh, for the easy understanding, I'm using this figure. Okay, this is a container which is filled with the electrolyte, okay, up to this level. And uh, one, uh, two electrodes we are using. So uh, one is this and another is this. Both are connected with the power cables uh, with the power supply. Okay, so this is connected here. And uh, uh, one of them we are making anode and another is cathode. So uh, this workpiece we are making anode and the tool we are making cathode so this is negative and this is positive okay so uh, the once the potential difference is created uh, the material uh, the ions uh, releases from the workpiece surfaces and uh, from the electrolyte as well uh, both uh, makes uh, uh, the positive ions that releases from the workpiece surface and the negative ions that releases from the electrolyte that will react with react with each other and that will forms the sludges so this is basically the concept okay of this electrolysis principle or the faraday's law uh, next is uh, so uh, one more thing that we are using is uh, after a steady state when the potential difference is created and when it's uh, after some time when it will reach to the uh, steady state condition that time uh, the this material gets start removing from the workpiece surface so uh, one more important criteria is uh, there is a, a minimum gap should be request required between the workpiece and the tool okay so now uh, whatever the shape that we have to uh, that we have to form over the workpiece surfaces opposite part of that we have to uh, uh, prepare the pattern of that op uh, opposite part of that pattern we have to prepare initially on the tool side okay so like he here i am taking example of a, a semi sphere that semi sphere kind of part i have to we have to prepare over this workpiece surface okay so that uh, shape or the surface area of that we have created over the tool side Okay, so once the potential difference is created and it will reach to the steady state, when we'll move this tool towards the workpiece, uh, the gap is decreases. As the gap is decreases, the resistance between the workpiece and the tool increases. So that uh, that uh, will remove the material from the workpiece. So this is basically the concept that we are using for the ECM process. But the important thing is how the material is removed, what are the reactions that place uh, takes place uh, while removing the material. So that uh, uh, next we are going to study that part. Okay. So uh, here uh, we are using two electrolytes. Okay. Means uh, we can uh, take one electrolytes that is sufficient. But for the better understanding, I'm using two electrolytes. So in case if it, uh, it is asked uh, anywhere, then you can go through one electrolyte itself. There is no need to mention two electrolytes, okay? I'm just using that uh, you can understand it uh, very well, this process, okay? So for that, uh, I'm using this figure. Now this is a workpiece, okay? And this is a tool. Uh, both are connected with the power supply, with the power, uh, with the power supply. 
okay here uh, uh, this work piece is anode that is positive and this is cathode that is negative now uh, this uh, work piece is completely uh, made up of the iron so that is fe so when the potential difference is created uh, that will start releasing the fe plus ions okay now uh, basically we are making this cathode as a neg uh, this uh, tool as a cathode so the ion should be releases from the cathode side but we are using the material of that cathode uh, that much enough that before releasing the negative ions or the positive ions from the tool the uh, electrolyte like h2o we are using so before releasing the negative or positive ions from the uh, tool itself the uh, this electrolyte itself releases negative ions okay so that OH minus ions react with the Fe OH plus, uh, sorry, Fe plus ions. Okay, so this is basically the concept. Uh, next is uh, we are talking about the at the anode part. So, anode uh, that is work piece, so that releases uh, the Fe ions. If we are talking about the cathode part, then there is a water, means in the electrolyte, there is a water. So, that forms the hydrogen gas and that releases the OH minus ions. Okay, so the overall is Fe plus ions that will react with the OH minus ions. So this is the concept. So that will, uh, when it will react, that will form the sludge that is FeOH twice, means iron hydroxide. Okay, so the overall is what? Uh, if we are uh, just, we are dividing this part into this uh, ion formation, that's why we are writing all these things. But overall is what is happening, that, uh, that uh, this is the Fe, and this is iron that is made up of the iron and that is reacting with the water okay so this is uh, exactly the happening so if we when if we react with the water it will make the feoh twice okay now one more thing is that uh, is uh, when it is forming this feoh twice the uh, is the material is continuously removing from the workpiece surface means fe plus ions and oh minus ions continuously releasing from the uh, elect workpiece and the electrolytes respectively. So uh, that will there may be a possibility that uh, there uh, that can be react with the FeOH twice as well. So uh, when we'll move forward, then we'll see that this FeOH twice can be formed react with the uh, water and the oxygen gas that is available, and that will make the FeOH thrice. Okay, so that is also a sludge. So these are the uh, things that is these are the sludges that is formed at the uh, that is formed when it will react with the uh, electrolyte this bug paste material next uh, we are going to discuss is uh, now this is complete this reactions is completely based when we are using the water now we are using the uh, salty water so salty water contains the uh, sodium ions or the chlor chlor chlorine ions so uh, at the anode again that is completely we are using of iron that is that is pure iron so it releases fe positive ions now at the cathode parts means at the electrolyte that is a water so that will again releases hydrogen gas and the oh minus ions and that that is nacl as well so that will releases sodium plus ions and the cl minus ions chlorine okay now uh, the possibilities are uh, this fe plus ions can be react with the oh minus ions and it can be react with the cl minus ions okay one more possibility is there that uh, this Na plus ions can be react with the OH minus ions. Okay, so these are the possibilities. So when we look at uh, look at here, so this Fe plus ions uh, when it will react with the Cl minus ions, that will form FeCl2. Okay, and when it will uh, when Na Na plus ions that will react with OH minus ions that will form NaOH and when uh, the Fe positive ions, uh, Fe positive ions that will react with the OH minus ions that will form FeOH uh, twice. Sorry, I forgot to write this equation over here, uh, but we have already seen in the previous, so that's not an issue. Okay, so the overall will be uh, this Fe, uh, this iron is reacting with the NaCl along with the water, okay, in the water, salty water, and that is forming FeCl2, FeOH twice, and NaOH. These are the sludges only nothing but it's a vestige of material that is uh, formed uh, by this by these reactions of the what the material has been removed from the workpiece surface and the what the removal has, material has been removed from the uh, what the ions has been released from the electrolyte okay so these are the 
reactions okay now uh, next is uh, what are the results uh, from these equations when we are using uh, like these reactions we are consider this results we are considering for water only so uh, what are the results that we are considering is first is iron uh, gets dissolved from the anode and forms the residues that we have seen uh, hydrogen gas and the hydroxide uh, ions releases at the cathode that also we have seen and the whatever the amount of the material that has been dissolved uh, from the anode or from the workpiece in the electrolyte okay so that amount is depends on two things first is how much charge has been passed uh, in the ec cell that is electrochemical cell because uh, uh, this whatever the figure that we are using in a container to electrodes with the power supply so ele with electrolyte that is fulfilling the cir circuit criteria so that is ec cell only okay so uh, first it depends uh, this charge is uh, this sorry this material which is dissolved in the electrolyte that depends on the charge and this charge will be equals to i into t means it's a product of i into t so where i is the current t is the uh, time okay and another is this mass depends on the atomic weight and the valency now uh, and the uh, how it depends in the ratio that is a by v okay a is the atomic weight and v is the valency now here we are using a pure iron so uh, the atomic weight and the valency will be considered for the pure iron only but in case if we are using any alloys that is made up of the several uh, uh, alloys we are, so that is made up of the several metals so we have to consider the atomic weight and the uh, valency for different materials as well okay so that time there is a different uh, thing that we will discuss in the uh, when we will discuss about the mrr okay uh, so uh, overall if we see then uh, this uh, m is equals to uh, q into a by v so when we will remove this proportionality sign uh, we have to take uh, this one by f so f is uh, nothing but it's a faraday's constant and its value is 96500 coulombs okay uh, next is uh, i'm just uh, putting the value of q that is i into t so this m that is mass or the amount dissolved in the electrolyte that is equal to i that is current into t into that is uh, t is a time a is the uh, atomic weight and in the denominator it is f that is uh, coulomb's constant and v is valency okay so please keep in mind this formula okay so next is <laughs> the electrolyte that we are using so what are the characteristic of this electrolyte is required uh, it should provide uh, sorry sorry uh, it should provide it should provide the it should provide the necessary reaction without plating the cathode okay means uh, without removing the material uh, means before the ions uh, move from the cathode part itself uh, means electrolyte itself releases the ions okay so here we have seen that h2o that is uh, reacting uh, that is that is reacting with the electrons and that is uh, releases hydrogen gas as well as oh minus ions so these oh minus ions are uh, releases by the electrolyte only so this is the characteristic that is uh, required that uh, without uh, plating without depleting from the that material uh, from the cathode okay so uh, what are the other functions that is required uh, for using elect for the electrolyte when we are using it so first it will complete the the circuit uh, between the workpiece and the tool uh, second is it will carry away the heat transfer heat generated during the operation and uh, it will carry away the product that is uh, that amount that product that is released or that is formed uh, like FeCl2, FeOH twice, okay, and in the form of sludges uh, that is carried away uh, by the electrolyte, okay. So these are the products. Uh, this this is all about the electrolyte, and next is about the ECM tool that we are using. So what are the characteristics required for the tool? Is first, uh, it should uh, it should be designing means uh, the tool material requires consideration. Uh, while designing the tools uh, 
are maintain a constant gap between the workpiece and the tool okay so first is this because uh, the making a uh, maintaining a constant gap between the workpiece and the tool that will create that will uh, that will increases the range of the resistance force the force that we are generating okay uh, because of that the material is removed from the workpiece so that we have to keep in mind that uh, constant gap the flow characteristic of the electrolyte that is also very important what are the other properties that is required uh, for the tools is high electrical and thermal conductivity it has it should has a, a good stiffness and high corrosion resistance because uh, we are uh, we are using one single electrode uh, to produce a number of work piece okay so high corrosion should be required uh, next is what are the parameters uh, that we are using in ecm processes the current that in the range of 500 to 40000 ampere and the voltage in the range of uh, 2 to 35 volt 35 volt okay so uh, this is this is very very important because uh, say in the several uh, psus this question has been asked previously that uh, what type of uh, current and the voltage we are uh, using in ecm process whether it's a high voltage uh, low current uh, low current high voltage okay low current low voltage and uh, sorry uh, and high high current high voltage so please keep in mind that a very high range of current we are using and a very low voltage in comparison with the current we are using so the option will be okay so sorry sorry this i have written high, high current and low voltage okay so this is high current and low voltage so please uh, keep in mind these things okay uh, next is uh, next is the feed rate that is in the range of 0.50 to 15 mm per minute the working gap that is required is a minimum gap is 0.102 uh, mm and the surface roughness once the machining is completed and the sur surface roughness that is in the range of 0.20 to 1.5 micron okay these are the parameters that is required uh, for this ecm process okay so next is a numerical problems Uh, that has been asked previously in gate 2001 so in ecm the material removal is due to so the options are corrosion erosion uh, fusion and ion displacement as we have already seen previously that at the anode part this fe releases fe positive ions and in the electrolyte at the cathode part that releases h2 gas and uh, oh minus ions so this oh minus ions and fe2 uh, plus ions that is reacting and that will uh, forms the feoh twice so that through that that will remove the material means feoh when is reacting with the oh minus ion that will remove the material uh, in the form of feoh twice so that is uh, the basically the sludge we are calling so uh, which option is suitable uh, option uh, d okay that is ion displacement so okay so in this video uh, we are stopping up to here in the next video uh, we'll discuss about uh, the uh, material removal rate and the numerical problems that has been asked previously okay so thank you so much